what is going on guys and welcome back to joe looks so 2016 was the year for me that i started this youtube channel but i also started a fashion instagram account and since starting that i've picked up a lot of incredible clothing and a lot of cool shoes and a whole bunch of stuff some of which i won't be showing you today but the stuff i will i'll be showing you in my top 10 pickups of 2016. okay guys so coming in the number 10 spot we have this mocha brown boxy fit hoodie i got from my homies over at truecharacter.com now this could make my list based just on comfort alone but the thing i like about this most is how versatile it is i can wear it with a lot of different stuff you know paired with a denim jacket a bomber or any other kind of jacket or just a t-shirt underneath it's incredibly versatile it'll fit with whatever it fits absolutely perfectly i've got no complaints about any of it and true character might be a brand that you may be not familiar with but they're really up and coming they've got an incredible line their link will be down in the description make sure you check those guys out okay guys so coming in at number nine we have all these different colored long line t-shirts from top man so top man has released a lot of these and i own more than these these are just the ones that i think are the nicest that i wanted to show you and they are all pretty amazing now as you can see the coloring on them is really great They've got so many colours available that you can pair over whatever look you want. I personally have got a colour for pretty much any look. But there's just something about the quality and the different tones in these that's really drawn me to it. And obviously, it's an affordable price because it's top man. And the reason these are made my list is because there pretty much isn't any look that I'm wearing at the minute that doesn't have a long line with it. And the majority of those long lines are coming from top man, so I had to put them on the list. Okay guys, so coming in at number 8 is my White Cement Jordan 4s. Now these are the 2016 release they released earlier on this year. I didn't manage to get them straight away, I got them for resale value. And I'm really happy I did because these shoes are just a classic look. You know, the, the Jordan 4 is a classic Jordan as it is, but I feel like White Cement is the best colorway that comes in. There aren't really any sort of like high top hype shoes at the minute, other than like the Yeezy 750s. So I like having these in my rotation so I can occasionally whip them out if I'm getting tired of all my low cut adidas shoes or anything i can whip out my white cement jordan fours and i've worn these shoes a lot this year so they do definitely belong on my top 10 list okay guys so coming in at number seven we have this london pablo merch that i got at candy's pop-up shop back in august so i didn't pay resale value for this i was lucky enough to manage to make it down to london and get in there in time and managed to pick myself up something this was one of the hoodies I had in mind as I was heading down there, so I'm really happy I did manage to pick this up. Obviously, we've got London on the front here because all the Pablo merch had its own city on it. And then on the back in big letters, we got Woke Up and Felt the Vibe, a Kanye lyric from the song Famous. But the reason this is one of my favorite Pablo merch pieces that I own is the memory of it, the fact that I did manage to make it down there and get into the pop-up shop and pick it up. So that's why it's on my list, despite the fact that it's just an incredibly comfy fit like most of the Pablo Merge is. Okay guys, so coming in at the number six spot, I have my Triple White 2.0 Adidas Ultra Boost. Now these were the first Ultra Boost I managed to pick up. So comfort wise, these were a real surprise to me because I'd never really experienced the Boost technology before this. So these were a shoe that I've worn for so, so long of the year. I didn't even like feel like I needed to pick up another shoe for a while because I had these. But it's just the style of these shoes that I'm such a big fan of. As you can see, because they're triple white, they are picking up a bit of dirt and a bit of mess and everything, but that's expected from a shoe that I wear so much, so I'm not really mad at that. But I definitely think that the Ultra Boost in general is Adidas' best work. Because these shoes, no matter what jean you put them with, or no matter what clothing with you put them in general, there's a colorway of this shoe that will go with absolutely anything. And I managed to pair these whites with an awful lot of stuff, so they definitely belong on my top 10 list from this year. Okay guys, we're so keeping the Ultra Boost theme going. At number six, we have my Triple Black Uncaged Ultra Boost. Now this shoe is different to the previous Ultra Boost I just showed you, simply because it doesn't have this cage on it, hence why it's called Uncaged. And I'm not really sure which one out of the two shoes I prefer because they're both so different. I do like that this one is gray on top with this sort of like meshed pattern. You see it's all scattered. I'm a big fan of the black Ultra Boost on this as well. I like the fact that the Ultra Boost logo on the back is black as well. I managed to pick these up in America when I went out to Philadelphia back in August. Any of you that have watched the vlogs have already seen that but i wasn't expecting to like these as much as i did until i saw them in person in the sneaker store and then i just instantly fell in love i've been in love with them ever since i wear these all the time so with the amount of love that i have for these and the amount that i've worn them these definitely belong on my top 10 list okay you guys so coming in at the number four spot we have the i feel like kobe pablo merch so it's like the kobe bryant Kanye west collab my one of my favorite rappers and my all-time favorite basketball player so I had to pick this up. I didn't manage to get this when it first released on KanyeWest.com because my brother talked me out of it. But then, like I just said, when I was in America, anyone that's seen the vlogs has already seen this. In that same sneaker store, they had this, so I'd be a fool if I didn't pick it up the second time around. And I'm really glad that I did because this is a really nice, relaxed fit. As you can see, the I feel like Kobe pattern there. And then on the back in the gravestone pattern, we've got a whole bunch of stuff about Kobe as well. 
And even though this is such a really bright and aggressive yellow, it actually really works with a lot of stuff that you pair it with. You know, when you see it in person, it doesn't look as aggressive and yellow as you'd imagine it to from pictures and everything. Definitely gonna be wearing this lots in 2017 as well as I did in 2016, but at number four, it was the I Feel Like Kobe merch. Okay guys, so we're into the top three now, and at the number three spot, it is my Los Angeles Kanye West Pablo merch. So this one I did manage to get on KanyeWest.com when it came out, thankfully. The reason I got this one is one, because I just had a chance to get Pablo merch, but also because the song No More Parties in LA features two of my favorite rappers on it. I played that song an awful lot, so I wanted to have some merch to commemorate that. As you can see, it fits like a lot of the Kanye West merch does. It sits on the hip. We've got the big, bold Los Angeles on the front, and then on the back as well, we've got a big lettering, the No More Parties in LA commemorating the song of the album. I'm not gonna lie to you, I like this one because obviously living in the UK, there are a lot of people that have the London Pablo merch, but there are gonna be less people that have some of the Los Angeles merch. So I like that I have this in rotation sometimes and it just fits like a dream, you know, I can't fault it in any way. So I'm definitely happy that I managed to pick this up for myself in 2016. Okay guys, so here we have it at the number two spot. It is this denim jacket I got from Represent Clothing. This denim jacket is just one of the best pickups I've picked all year and also of all time. I love this jacket to absolute pieces. I'm in love with the way that this jacket fits. You know, as you can see, it's distressed all over the jacket. It's got this sort of like acid washed theme to it on the sleeves. It fits like a regular denim jacket, but then there's something about it that's different, which I hold to represent credibility because I've, I've tried on other denim jackets and it just doesn't feel the way that this one feels. So this is like a go-to clothing piece that I have now. I'll wear this for any opportunity, anytime I get a chance to. So it definitely belongs at the number two spot for my top 10 pickups. And here we have it, you guys. I'm sure any regular viewers aren't going to be surprised by this one. But at my number one spot, it is the Yeezy 350 V2s in the black and red colorway. I managed to pick these up back at the end of November and sadly I did have to pay resale values on these, but I'm not really that bothered for the amount that I love these shoes. As you can see, the style of these shoes is really unique. You know, it comes out at the back heel here. We've got the big Supply 350 down the side and that calling card that we now know from the V2s of the big red paint stripe going down the side. I'm definitely happy that red was the color I went with. because I've seen the olive in person, I've seen the tan and the white and I just feel like nothing stands out as much as the red. Plus I can pair red with a lot more clothing that I own than I can any of the other colors. So I definitely don't regret getting this one. To be honest, I've wanted the Yeezy for so long, pretty much ever since the Turtle Dogs release. But since making this Instagram and this YouTube, it's very hype beast stoppy, but I've wanted to pair even more just because I wanted to have what everybody else had. You know, I didn't like that I felt like I wasn't as good as everybody else because everybody else had all these amazing sneakers. So it felt great to add these into the collection because I felt like I gained a bit more credibility as a YouTuber and a fashion blogger and everything like that. Maybe that's weird, maybe that's just me, but regardless, I am so, so happy that I picked up these shoes. They're comfortable beyond belief. I love them to pieces. And at my number one spot, it was the Yeezy 350 Supply V2s. Okay, you guys, so all I ask of you now is if you have enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe so you can watch me pick up all the rest of my clothing through 2017. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And as always, my name is Joe Lugs. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.